Hi, I'm Anjali. Welcome to my 3 minute mini lesson. In this video, I'm going to talk about the adopter categories in diffusion of innovations. Diffusion of innovations is a theory that seeks to explain how, why and at what rate new ideas and technologies spread through cultures. In 1962, Everett Rogers, a sociology professor, popularized this theory in his book Diffusion of Innovations. According to Rogers, diffusion is a process by which an innovation is communicated through certain channels over time among the members of a social system. The book proposed four elements of diffusion as innovation, communication channels, time, and social system. Innovativeness Rogers defined innovativeness as the relative earliness or lateness of an individual or unit in adopting an innovation. Based on the rate of adoption, Rogers have grouped individuals into five adopter categories. They are innovators, early adopters, early majority, late majority, and laggards. In order to represent these adopter categories, he has introduced the diffusion of innovation bell curve. Now we'll have a look at the dominant characteristics and values of each adopter category. Innovators. Innovators form a small group of population. They play a major role in diffusion process by launching innovations or new ideas in the social system. They are very eager to try new ideas. The salient features of innovator is venturesomeness. They can be considered as a risk takers in the social system. The prerequisites of an innovator includes the ability to understand and apply complex technical knowledge. Early adopters. Early adopter category consists of forward-thinking individuals who forms about 13.5% of the population. This adopter category has the highest degree of opinion leadership in the social system and hence are highly respected as the opinion leaders. They serve as a role model or trendsetter for many other adopter categories. The degree of uncertainty of a new idea is erased or decreased by the early adopters as they provide a subjective evaluation of the innovation to near peers by means of interpersonal networks. Rogers identifies about 34% of the population as early majority. They deliberate for some time before completely adopting a new idea. Their innovation decision period is longer than that of an innovator and early adopter. They observe early adopters to get feedback about the innovation. They seldom hold any leadership positions. They only adopt an innovation once they are fully convinced about the benefits of the innovation. Late majority. Late majority consists of about 34% of the total population. This adopter category consists of individuals who are resistant to change. Innovations are usually approached with a skeptical or a cautious manner. In order to adopt a new idea, all of the uncertainty about the innovation must be eliminated. They adopt an innovation once it has become a status quo or a standard of practice in the community. Lagards. They are the last in the social system to adopt an innovation. They are highly resistant to change. They see high risk in adopting an innovation. They remain unconvinced that any innovation provides any new benefits. When the Lagards finally adopt an innovation, it may have been already superseded by another reinvention. Lagards form about 16% of the population. The resistance for the Lagards to change may be due to their economic positions or may be because of their minimal exposure to the media. Thus, by understanding the characteristics of five user segments and developing the right communication strategies at right time for each of these segments, we can maximize the diffusion of innovation of new ideas, products and processes in the social system. Thank you.